everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this science video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and I am doing a really fun uh, color mixing rainbow science experiment for you today. So what we're looking at in this experiment is how water can move through being absorbed by something else and while doing that makes a really beautiful and interesting rainbow design. So the things that you need for this experiment are some cups. They can be uh, plastic or glass. You just want to make sure they're clear, um, completely clear and see-through. And you will need some water to put in some of those cups. You will need some paper towel. And you want to find the primary colors of uh, food coloring. So you will do a little bit of prep to set up for this uh, science experiment. So you want to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those cups. And starting with the first one, you're going to put water in every other cup. So I have water in one, three, five, and seven. I have uh, water in. And the other ones are going to leave empty. Then you're going to want to take a piece of paper towel. If you have the full sheets of paper towel, you're going to cut them in half. And, okay, and then you're gonna fold this in half once and then fold it in half again so you have a long skinny strip like this. And then you're going to fold that in half so you kind of have this little stand up um, piece. And you wanna make, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So to begin, you're going to put some, then you can invite your young scientists to join you. So you're going to, and they can help you fill up cups and fold paper towels too, that's okay, depending on their ages. <laughs> so uh, what you're going to do next is put your food coloring in. So I would start by saying, what is the first color of the rainbow? Red. So you're going to put maybe five drops of food coloring. Oh, UPS guy, it's very exciting. So about five drops of food coloring in your first cup. Next color of the rainbow is orange, but that cup is empty, so we're gonna skip that one. The next color of the rainbow is yellow, red, orange, yellow. We're gonna put about five or six drops of yellow in our third cup. Next color is green. That cup's empty, so we're gonna skip that one. Then we have blue. We're gonna put about five or six drops of blue in our rainbow. Our rainbow finishes with purple, also empty, but the last cup has water in it. So challenge your young scientists. If we wanna somehow get purple in this empty cup, what two colors make purple? Blue and red. So we're going to put red in that last cup. Four, five, six. All right. So once we have our cups ready to go, what we're going to do is put in our paper towel pieces. So we're going to very carefully put these in like this and walk them over. And you can see right away, this is kind of fun, the water starts getting absorbed up into this paper towel. And then, that's about it. We're gonna leave them alone for a while and let the science happen. This is a great time to have some discussions with your young scientists about thinking like a scientist. So if we look at primary colors, you can ask them, what do you know about primary colors? Well, primary colors make secondary colors. So if we look at our experiment and we look at the water starting to absorb up our paper towels, what do we think might happen? And have them make some guesses about what they think might happen. What you and I know is going to happen is that the water is going to absorb and mix in the cups that don't have any water in them, making all of the colors of the rainbow. This takes a while to happen, so this would be a fun experiment to either do at nighttime before you're going to bed. You can set this up make some predictions, maybe draw some pictures of what you think might happen, and then wake up in the morning and you will have your 
rainbow ready to look at. Or you could do it at the beginning of the day and check it throughout the day. You could um, have a little observation sheet that you draw what's happening every couple hours and you can keep an eye on it and take notes and see if your predictions are correct. And that's kind of a fun way to use this experiment as well. So I have some footage of this experiment that I did a while ago that you can see what the finished product looks like. And I hope you have fun with this walking rainbow with these absorbing paper towels. And uh, if you make your own rainbow, let us know. We'd love to see pictures and enjoy this video of the one that I made. See you next time.